Hello, everybody. Welcome back to The Witcher 2. Um, and we are going to be see if we can find where Trismary Gold went. Now, I can't remember at all where uh, Cedric's blood trail is supposed to be. In fact, I can't remember where we are. Um, <laughs> the unfortunate truth of the matter is, it has been a few days uh, since we last played, and I'm just going to have to get my bearing on this ever so slightly. Uh, so I'm supposed to take chase after Cedric. Let me see if we can pull this up. Because it's a chapter two, that's fine. At your service. Show you away from the inn into the forest. This is gonna be this way then, right? And it should lead us to the waterfall. Now uh, there should be blood that we can follow as well. Mm, there's some blood, look. I don't quite know which direction the blood trail is going to take us, if we are to follow it. But essentially we're going to be heading south, I know it's going to look north for those that haven't already seen the playthrough, kind of the, some, one of the mods has flipped my map over, which is just kind of horrific. But, um, so yeah, we're technically actually heading south rather than north. It's likely we're going to get enemies to face. Um, they're not particularly important for us to fight. Um, just because, obviously, we're now at the point where we're not really gaining XP from them. Although we will gain cash, so there is some value. Come on, big boy. Big long roll is kind of lovely. Still using the PlayStation controller rather than on being attacked. Where are you? Oh, there you are. There are many. Any more? Mm -hmm. I can keep bringing them, please. Right? This is all just cash for later. This is going to be getting the next. Dark mode set in the next chapter a little easier just because we don't have a bit more cash now at disposal. Whoa, so many! Oh my god! You're gonna be fighting as well, aren't you? God damn it. on me there. Oh, they're fighting each other. Well, I should really take the opportunity to heal up, really. Down with the Necker. God damn it, Dramas. We actually still get XP for Dramas, that's interesting. So we could, in fact, still try to level on these. Whoa, let's get out of the way of that. Quite funny how they, uh, what's the word, niche like that. I don't spend too much time just doing nothing. Is 
some goodies. I'm going to be heading over this way. Health should be rising now, which is good. Hope you guys can hear me okay. <clears throat> when it's been a week since I last used my gear, it's kind of difficult to trust it. I'm just make sure it's actually recording. Yeah, it is good. A few minutes, cool. Everything's looking dandy. Might as well just have a little look forward here. So apparently this is where we're supposed to go for Margot, which I think I missed before. Chris, Not Margot, I think it was Marlene. Cedric's supposed to be in here somewhere. Pretty much good to fight. And most of the stuff in here is going to be close to one shotage now. Just don't get hit from behind, right? So the next thing we need to do is reduce the damage we take from back attacks. Because it happens more often than I'd like to admit. Come on. Things just spawned behind me, I think. There we go. Careful of that. This case would be nasty for actually. Wow, so many. Try to be careful here. Let's get you down. Now you. Hey. Came out of that, all right. Continuing, basically gathering cash. I don't even know what we're on. 1200 before we're selling any of this stuff. And I believe it's something like 5k for the basics without buying any like, ingredients or anything in the next, next chapter. I hate that. God damn, how many? Thought I heard something. It's just like, <laughs> why are you spawning them all the way back here? Hello. And more. So many. Hey. Come on then, we've got some more. <laughs> There's no way Cedric's going to be alive in here, surely. Come on. <laughs> Is it going to be this way? No, there's no Cedric here. Okay, let's try this little ledge. I don't know if the super drone is going to spawn here. Let's make sure we've got a save on the go. Nothing here. It's not a spawn. It's just. I, mean, I suppose you don't need it because it's not a fucking cave again, but. 
just go through this place. Okay, so I'm not seeing any Cedric. When you already follow Cedric after hearing where you went. Cat potion. Inventory. Follow the blue trail leading away from the inn and into the forest. Trail takes you to the area outside of town with the waterfall. You should know by now go there. And you'll meet up with Cedric who explains what happens. Let's see. Okay, maybe it's supposed to be the entrance. Let's go back. We have just killed those for nothing. Okay. So is Cedric out here somewhere? Head there we go. Gwynblade. I no longer feel the pain. Always wanted to die among trees. Cedric, what happened? Triss asked me for help. I killed the Dwan guarding the door, and we broke in. Again, I killed a Dwan. I know. Where's Triss? A witcher came in, attacked us. I tried to protect Triss. He was fast. Too fast for me. He hit Triss before she could cast a spell. He knew how to fight a sorceress. Then he ordered her to activate the Megascope. He needed to get to Edern, near the dwarven town of Vergen. Triss said it was madness, that she didn't have the coordinates. He gave her a strange look, threatening. Better give it your best. You're going first, with me right behind you. Then I passed out. When I woke, they were gone. I knew I was dying. The forest called me. Why, Cedric? Why did you get involved? Why did you? Sometimes we must. Have I told you about my visions? That's why I drink. It helps. I'm safe in a mist of vodka. See nothing, feel nothing. Cedric, calm down. But now I see clearly. You need to regain your memory. Only then will you understand who's killing crowned Dwan. And why. How can I get it back? In Edda. In a place tainted with dark magic. Where ghosts of the fallen will fight a great battle. Save their souls and your memory will return. Okay. What's happening? With the forest. I feel a presence. I feel like I was that attached to Cedric. <laughs> I mean, we shouldn't be happy that somebody died, but... I'm also not all that sad. Geralt, where have you been? The Kingslayer, dammit. I almost had him. You fled? Teleported to Edern. What? How? 
He forced Triss to cast the spell. Shit. Roach sent me to find you. We're setting off. He's learned something new. The Scoyatel are also up to something big. Okay. What's Roach planning? He went off on Laredo, so it must concern the Commandant. It's something important. What do you know about the Scoyatel, Zoltan? They want to free Yorvef and the other prisoners at your help will be crucial. When did you join the Scoyatel, Zoltan? It's not like that. They're taking the prisoners to Drakenburg. A special prison for non-humans. Bloody monument to human hatred. The Scoyatel don't trust you. Nor me, for that matter. But you can change that. <laughs> I'll talk to them. Maybe Roach or the Scoyatel can finally be useful. Well, well. So, of course, in this playthrough, we're going... Whoa. What's happening here? Do you mind? Whoa, do you mind? Right, that's you. Do you mind? Whoa. Cool, we're all good. Alright, so now I'm hoping that we can uh, do the troll bridge as part of the playthrough rather than doing it separately. I've decided what I'll do is if I can't actually do it as part of the let's play, I'll. Um, Reload one of the previous save games, and we will. Um, well, I'll just add it as a part of the part of the playlist. So a lot of people that actually get here probably will be like, "What the hell are you talking about? You already did." It. <laughs> um, but that's the plan anyway for that. Now we head back. Um, but really, we only need the return of Sheila and Dandelion. It looks like there's a path that leads right through there. It's weird. It's weird. <laughs> oh, sorry guys, I had a bit of a sneeze. <laughs> Taking sweet time just then. Slayer fled to Vergen in Edirne. He forced Triss to teleport them both. Damn, he's made a mockery of us. 
If that's how he wants to play, I'll make him regret it. I heard you have news for me. Lorido has a deal with Kedwin. That merchant living in his house is Hensel's agent. For a pouch of gold, the good commandant promised to support Kedwini troops in the event of a conflict. So what now? I want that spy to squeeze him for information. And I've sentenced Commandant Lorido to death. Roach, we have to sail. We need to get to Edern. I'm not leaving until I deal with Lorido. The spy may know something about the Kingslayers. I wouldn't be surprised if Henselt of Kedwin was behind all this. Hmm. All right. Let's deal oh, with I should have done. Let's do something. Never mind. Whoops. Listen very carefully. I'm not repeating this. We have two targets. The first is a Kedwini spy, Arnold Malaga. I want him alive. The other is Bernard Lorido, the trading post commander and a traitor to Temeria. We don't let his kind live. Arnold almost never leaves the residence, so we need to strike there. To get inside, we'll use Vess's unusual talents and Bernard's habits. Stop calling him by his first name. It really rubs me the wrong way. Whatever you wish. Lorido's house. The first floor contains guest quarters. Geralt had the opportunity to take a look. Regular patrols. Second floor, Lorido's bodyguards' quarters. They think they're the toughest warriors this side of the Yoruga, but really they're lame drowners dressed in colorful gambesons. Third floor, the lion's den. Here, Lorido stores plundered valuables. It's where he sleeps, shits, and wanks off while staring at the statuette of the she-elf. Only <laughs> the following are allowed to enter. Arnold Malaga, Lorido's mother, his cousin, and whores. <laughs> I'm not sure I still have that frog. After making his round at the trading post, Lorido always orders two ladies. Vess will act as one of them. The house is a bloody fortress, but Lorido had it enlarged. The Witcher will enter through the extension. Vess will open a window for you. Once in, you'll have to improvise, Geralt, but you'll have the element of surprise. Vess can hold her own, too. Zenon and Rickard will cover you from vantage points. If things get hot, lure those horses near the windows. I'll be in the courtyard with the rest, ready to enter in the extreme. I repeat, in the extreme. That's all. Any questions? No? Let's get to work. Hmm. Whoopsie. <laughs> right. Cool. So we can probably initiate that later. Let's see if we can find uh, our good friend Dandelion in the inn. Vernon's waiting inside. Let's, let's see if she is back as well. I don't quite know where she's gone to. Pretty sure we need Sheila to continue the troll bridge crash without just killing it. Um, which may well be the way that we have to complete it now, which is unfortunate. Same folks who need a bear's head to hang on the wall show how plucky they are. A peasant with a troll's head in his wall can raise many scouts. Thanks. Where are you off to? Sightseeing. Round the houses of Lobinder. There we go. Let's speak to Aldo here. Well, if someone's going to Lovington, so actually we can do that now and get the, uh, the Trollbridge quest done. Let's do that. Hopefully, anyway. Should be out this way. Let's 
try and hear first then. Let's try and be logical about this. Nothing as far as I can tell. Sacrum, aching and thumping. <laughs> well, come on, let's find it. Oh, it's just not an enclosed house. Let's try around here, I suppose. There's loads of goodies around this bit. Okay, I'll take that. Thank you. Let's try and heal. My medallion vibrates when you're nearby, and it only vibrates near magic or danger. Maybe it's warning you not to make a pass at me, lest I slap you. <laughs> you're right. I should watch what I do. Listen carefully. People may say I'm a witch, but I don't deal in spells. You don't look like someone who'd come for a charm or a curse. So you either seek out sensations or hunt witches. Whichever the case. I'm not about to denounce you, nor do I want to see you dancing naked in the moonlight before Veopatis' shrine. How dare you? I want to buy some herbs. Herbs? For personal use. Mm. What do you know about protective amulets? I'm no sorceress, but I know a bit about magic. Why do you ask? Take a look at this one. I have reason to believe there's something not quite right about it. Mm. I'd say there's magic in it without a doubt. I'd gladly buy it from you. Pay me enough and... I can give you 50 orans. That's nowhere near enough. All right. Let's say, a hundred. Why do you want the talisman? Why do you? Let's say it's got sentimental value for me. Let's say I see it as a collector's item. I'll give you two hundred orans, and that's my final offer. If you have the coin, the talisman's yours. Two hundred orans. There you are. Hey. Well, that was... Strange, right? No XP for that? Mm. Almost close to a level up. Hides and the tannins on Appa either. A straggler, yeah? A lobber there? Sometimes a hapless calf. I've even got otter fur for you. You hunt? Oh, we must not hunt in the royal forest. Even children know that. 
Besides, it's too dangerous to go among the trees now, but with all those monsters. They must be finding more food in the area. A war's brewing, methinks. Not necessarily. The Scoia'tael attack merchants and ambush patrols. Ideal conditions for necrophages. We ought to wait for better times and be satisfied with the little things, like the good book teaches us. Where do you get that head? I bought it. Cost me a fortune, but it was worth it. No one else in Lobindon's got a troll's head. Who do you buy it from? Dimitri. Who else would dare trap a troll in its very own den? Where can I find this Dimitri? That I don't know, but you'll find his mates carousing at the inn in the evening. Mm. I'd like to buy that head from you. No way! The head's mine, you smelly swine. I'll give you a good price, unless you'd prefer to trade. Hmm. We could roll some dice for it, provided you make it worth my while. Thanks. That was helpful. Okay. Let's see what this suggests. Okay, we're back to the in, in the evening, no less. Well, that feels like better progress towards the Troll Bridge Inn. Now I don't feel so bad. I only get it completely given the level of the Bridge Inn. Right. Do 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 Is it evening? I don't know if it is. Sounds like. It's definitely not quite evening. We have one talent point. We'll look at leveling up with that in a second. I feel like we're actually quite high level for this point in the game as well. Which is very really nice. Maybe we should go through some of his uh, dialogue as well in this episode. Get things tied up. Friend, I'm starting to find this a mite confusing. You here at the bidding of that old rag, the Fist Tech Boys or Laredo. And be straight with me. I heard you hunted down a troll. None of your plowing business. Heard of the butcher of Blaviken? Who hasn't? You say you can gut a man with a single cup? Yeah. Don't tell me where I can find Dimitri. I'll splash your guts on the walls. Steady. Start talking. Dimitri hangs around the cemetery near that stinking village. See? It can be nice. All you need to do is try. <laughs> okay. Right, so now we can head to the east. Uh 
Aha, hello. Hello. We do all know that's no squirrel, but an ordinary elf. He won't know shit. Ears pointy, check. We'll dress the corpse in green and collect an even hundred. Heard Milena makes more than that. I guess robbing the soldier is better business than robbing elves. I'll not hear of that whore again, got it? Treacherous oh, rag. Pointy. She'll get what she deserves. Won't be long now. Couldn't satisfy her, eh? Can't fault the girl for being ambitious. And the stiff on the ground is who? Some spy from Vizima, soon to be our squirrel's grave mate. Laredo told me to get rid of him, and since we've got this vacancy in the boneyard, thought I might do our friend a small favor. <laughs> he don't look like no spy. They never do once they're dead. Ah, oh, almost forgot. Might pay to search him good and thorough before we plant him in the dirt. You, Dimitri. Why the fuck do you want to know? The troll sends his regards. Kill him. No witnesses. Quick. Do do do. Roll hits are best. Quick, get out the way. Oh my god, I'm stuck. <laughs> hey, thinks he's left there. Now we can complete the troll trouble. Wow, we got tons of stuff now. Even reading to do. Press diamonds, right? Had a key. Cool. Can I go back up there? I can. Right, let's go and talk to the troll. Which pretty much guess what I wanted to do then. It's unfortunate that we missed one quest. Um, I think we're down this bit, right? Speak to the troll. You vodka dwarf. You drink too much. Your eyesight shit. Why, Buck? I punished your wife's murderers. Mine? You'll find what's left of them at the cemetery. I find. Will you fix the bridge? Trolls troop. Make sure your hands are steady when you do it. No drink more. Head in peace. Hehe. <laughs> right now, I can turn that in. I'm assuming. Should hope it's an achievement. in the house. You owe me 200 orins. You'll get 100.
Listen, I made deals with you and the troll. He kept his word. You're trying not to. I haven't the coin. Sure you don't want to look a little harder? <laughs> what if I don't find any? Then I'll look myself. This is robbery. Here, I hope you choke on it. Hey. Well, that's what I'm trying to Alrighty then, so now we're in a way better place to continue on. Let's take a little journal here. Yeah, so the only thing I don't really like is uh, trying to be doing that poker. That's the only thing we're not going to do because I'm terrible at that kind of thing. Gambling has never been my forte. Um, so that leaves us with Roach's Quest. How far into the video are we right now? Let's take a look. So yeah, at 40 minutes, it's probably pretty good. Um, next episode, we're going to be continuing onward with death to the traitor, as it were. Um, so, hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next episode for that. It's definitely where we need to be. Cool. So, I will be catching you guys in the next episode for that. See you then.